everybody wants to come out and get a glimpse, and this A&M team enjoys tremendous support as well. And we're underway in Aggieland. Turnaround jumper off the mark, and Reese out on the break. Uncontested Angel Reese scores the game's first bucket. Ware with a double team on her. Jones will take the jumper, knocks it down from above the he free says, throw why line. Why not, right? Ajay Johnson with the ball for the first time. Van Lith. The three is pure. Nothing but net for Haley Van Lith. LSU was a really tough team to stop in transition off. And Isamoro just gets free. Last year, Poa in the game made the pass out of bounds to her. Poa and the rebound cleared by Morrow. Reese was asking for the ball. Yep. She got it and gets the roll. They're running the floor. Hand in the air. Haley with Van Lith finds her. This is that chemistry that we're seeing develop more and more with the reps. That Morrow gets the pass from Johnson. Easy score. LSU, one of the best offensive teams in the country, and they're rolling right now. Has come out firing after a week off. They've scored from just about every spot on the floor. Morrow gives them. LSU scored at least 85 points in their last three games. And they go right inside to Morrow. Morrow is actually getting close to a double-double right now. Morrow has more rebounds than A&M at the moment. Last year, Poa flips it across the lane to Angel Reese for an easy bucket, and Reese has six points as well. First game between these two teams was January 11th, and the game really was one of the free throw line. LSU shot 32 free throws in that game, made 25 of them. No free throws yet tonight. There it is. Nice pass to Ware from Barker. A ton of minutes, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. And Flage Johnson going down for the easy two and give Angel Reese another assist. Hesitated, pulls off the front of the rim. Flage Johnson, yes! It will count! She and Angel Reese are, are best friends, and uh, they were really looking forward to playing against each other tonight. Flage Johnson, who hit the buzzer beater at the end of the quarter, opens this quarter up with a three. Sophomore, she started every game last year to win that national championship. And there were some highs, there were some lows. You learn from your mistakes. Kim Mulkey's got a lot of trust in her, and she will draw the opponents. Reese backing in. She's got a height advantage here. Oh, blocked by Ware. Ware came over and made an incredible block. That's, she is one of the best shot blockers in the SEC. Van Lith going to take it. And one. Foul on Green. Love the communication, though, before this play. Joel Reese, and then just went for it. I think they were trying to swing the basketball around, but Van Lith noticed nobody really in help side. And you're going left. If you're Haley Van Lith, that's an all-day move, right? You, you take that. Angel Reese, that is incredible. And there she is again, blocking Ware. Morrow to Johnson. And Johnson went up and under, no foul, but that was beautiful. Johnson, nice pass to Del Rosario. Bodies on the floor, Johnson's gonna get up, she's okay. Van Lith quickly to Johnson. Johnson weaves through traffic, throws it up and in! Are you kidding me? Her immediately, but there is a lot of flash oh. in women's basketball. Come on. Initiating offense, Morrow can pick and pop. She can face up. Oh, nice move by Kula Bali. Went up and under Johnson. Went up and under Johnson. Yeah, it's got to be Kula Bali moving forward. I mean, she's got that aggressiveness to her. Wow. Woo. Check. <laughs> and Barker. Lost it, got it back tomorrow. Tomorrow, why not? Del Rosario, good rebound. And one, a foul on Ware. That was good position.
Koulibaly picks up the bucket for the Aggies. Good look inside. Johnson with a brilliant pass tomorrow. A little bit frustrated too. Remember Joni Taylor just took yeah. her out for a few minutes to calm her down. Koulibaly attacks the rim. And Barker is the player that put that in. Now for Janaya Barker. Bornware keeps the play alive. Aisha Koulibaly heads to the rim, but it's Barker there. As I mentioned, her effort, energy. This has been the best offensive quarter of the game for AM so far. Green throws it up, missed. And then the follow is good by Jones and a foul. Aggies here in this third quarter. Great rip and go and transition. She misses the layup, but if you run the lane, LSU just does not get back in transition. Great hustle. Lovely fire that we're seeing. Uh, I mean, Since he, that scuffle, right? Everybody yeah. kind of settled down, but it brought some. Ended it on an 8 0 run. Johnson off the mark on the three. Angel Reese back in the game, and she gets 10 points, so she keeps that streak alive. She has never failed to score in double figures. Sahara Jones scored all eight of those Aggie points, by the way, and now Barker buries a three. Texas A&M actually winning this half. And Morrow banks it in. And the fans getting active for the first time tonight. Morrow all the way would not be denied. Angel Reese getting close to a double-double. How about that move? Last here, Poa. Half and then the, the situation we had with the, the tempers to really find itself in this game, and now it you start to feel better about AM. It's funny, this game feels like an eight to ten point. Yeah, game. it does. Morrow, second effort, gets wow. it and draws the foul on Barker. I love for the reactions yeah. in, in college basketball now. And <laughs> Some good ones right now. Just amazing on the bench. It used to be you put your hand down and now it's and that, it's just just Anissa Morrow has. Johnson to Van Lith. That was an amazing pass. Koulibaly. Oh, what a strong take. Nobody stopped her. Post and Aisha Koulibaly, post Lauren Ware, post Janiah Barker. They got some height out there in their starting five. Morrow, offensive rebound and bucket off the of Van Lith miss. 72-51, under four to play. Morrow, man, she's having an incredible quarter. If they stay a four seed, you do not want to meet LSU. Hilton. Barker, nice offensive rebound and put back. Barker leading score in the game for the Aggies tonight. 18 points, eight rebounds. She's close to a double-double. Couple minutes to get it. Reese, up and in, and one. Angel Reese, she just she does her work early. She's got great footwork, instincts. Trust me, if, she, if that shot didn't go down, she's up right with it. Just had a, an awful first half, but they can breathe a little bit easier by the way they played this second half. They'll meet Arkansas here on Thursday. Poa with another strong move to the basket. Game for the first time, number 14 for LSU. So Kim Mulkey truly getting every player in the game tonight. And a comprehensive win for LSU. After a week off, they look sharp, Steph. Another terrific performance. A well-rounded, balanced effort from LSU.